Thanks, everybody. Uh, well, I'm the landscaper of the group. We all know that. I've been here in the group nine years now, and uh, I can't tell you what presentation this is, but uh, today we're going to talk about create, install, and maintain, because that is my key to success. You dream it, we make it happen, basically is my tagline. And to make that happen is there's a couple steps along the way. Create, install, maintain, transform someone's backyard into uh, what they desire. So to do that create, we have to meet a client. We've got to come up with a plan for what is possible in their backyard. I want to find out what type of individual they are, if they're modern, uh, modern city stuff or we're a rustic mountain, we're contemporary something. They're going to tell me that in that hour or two that uh, Kate and I spend with them. We're going to come up with a plant life. OK, go ahead. And uh, Kate's going to listen, and I'm going to listen, and we're going to come up with a bottom line design that puts it on paper so you can see what we're trying to do. Um, once it's on paper, um, we want to let them know, or have them let us know what they want to incorporate. Is it going to be a lawn? Is it going to be all trees? Do we want to leave existing trees? Do we want to cut trees to let more sun in? There's so many different aspects to the outside world uh, of what we're trying to end game, get them so they can enjoy the outside, outside space. That's really what it's all about, okay? Uh, full transformations. Uh, I wish I had a photo of this property beforehand, but that's Jim's job now. This was all just mule's ears. And now when you come to the Turner's home, it's really warm and presentable and their grandkids have a little space to play now, which they didn't in the, in the go ahead. In the backyard, uh, Mrs. Turner really wanted to, she's into feeding birds and squirrels and she wanted a little type of water feature. Uh, not big enough for the bears to go in, or, but big enough for coyotes and squirrels and stuff to play in birds. This is a job up on the <clears throat> top of Glenshire that we did a lot of work in the backyard, and this was our access road. This was an existing lawn that didn't have any irrigation. It was not part of the plan at all for them, but once we devastated that left side, the lawn looked just like crap. So. The right thing for us to do, which was not in the bid, was to put in a new lawn for them. So that's our end result. Go ahead, Jim. But the main project was this paver patio. And this guy's, this, this is what we specialize in. Beautiful patios, organic fire pits, lots of space for everyone to entertain around and enjoy. This is a beautiful view of Mount Rose looking this way and a beautiful view, view looking towards North Star. I took this photo. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in the background. I bet you Jim's photos will be a lot better in the years to come. Um, Scott Shot Photography did uh, our shot for us. This was a, uh, it's on my YouTube channel, the beginning to the end on the pier. This was an existing 1930 pier that we reutilized and made into a, a nice enjoyable space right on the lake. Plumas Bank, our installs. You know, we have to use a lot of equipment and a lot of people to devastate areas to then develop areas that are beautiful. We tore out all the grass in front of Plumas Bank. We left the backside, the stream is back in. A lot of three-dimensional excarescape. Hardly any water being used now in that front area, okay? Um, the installs, it's really, uh, you gotta have a lot of machinery, you gotta have a lot of people, and you gotta have a strategic plan of how to make it happen. And there it is. Um, wow, that's an investment right there. That's a lot of stuff. There is landscaping. I've got to be a plumber. I've got to be an electrician. I've got to be an arborist. I've got to be a lawn maintenance guy. It's like there's so many aspects of landscaping. A C27 contractor's license should almost be a general contractor's license because I cover all the gamuts of it. I am licensed. I am certified for all this stuff. 17 years in business. This is where we're at. We're growing constantly. Okay, Jim. Uh, if the people, if I had all that equipment and I had the wrong people, I would be nothing. And Ashton has been with me for about 10 years now. He's extremely, extremely credible. He's just gifted in many ways in creativity and, uh, okay. Uh, and this guy is pretty much the reason we're all here. 
I just feel so proud of what I have created, what I actually do know, like really know an excellent product that we present. And I feel like I'm a really good team leader to the 15 to 20 people that we have working for us spring and summer and winter, this past winter, oh my Lord. Um, what we do a lot of in the summer is paver patios. And I wanted to show Melanie's house, go ahead. This is, uh, we all were there at Melanie's party in late August, I think it was, maybe September sometime, and you saw the end result of that uh, project. Go ahead, Jim. We started way back here underneath Gerald's shed and brought pavers all the way out so he has a nice surface under his shed for his snowblowers and everything. This is a gigantic um, fire pit that the homeowner brought to us and they installed. We just give ideas. The homeowner really is the one that create the final product. And uh, go ahead, one more. Oh, I, well, anyways. That was Melanie's house. This is another project that's out in North Star. We used this whole area as our staging area from the main road. And then in the end, we replanted it, mulched it. You can't really tell that we were just destroying that area. These pavers are a Sierra blend. These ones here are about 90 pounds a piece. It took two guys to lay this patio, or that paver. Uh, five guys working on that patio, and this was like a six weeks job. This took a long, long time to do, but final product, and clients are really, really happy. Okay, Jim. Uh, it takes to get all that stuff done, hand crews and machinery working together, right? Strategic logistics without the other, or else you're going to have a lot of problems going on. Uh, we're pretty good at that. You guys remember this day, I do believe. Um, if we were looking at creating, installing, and maintaining, planting plants is the last part of the installation of the gig. And it's probably my most enjoyable portion. Uh, I really, really enjoy it. Go ahead, Jim. And so that leads us to maintaining. We have over 120 yards that we care for. We have, uh, I'm gonna guess, somewhere around 20 commercial properties that we take care of on a weekly basis. Okay, Jim, and uh, this was one of the things that we do. We're, Kimco employs us for Safeway. They have a very limited budget per year of what we can do, and this is one thing that we did last year for them. The, where the homeless people hung out by Verizon all the time, that area now looks super nice, and I'm really hoping we get to mulch this this year. We're limited to what we can do to the customers' uh, budgets, I'm all about, uh, say it with me, right? Clients, employees, and community. This is our community park, state-of-the-art irrigation system that no one here in Truckee has yet installed. We have it in the park. It's amazing. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, Melanie's house, I just wanted to show Melanie's house. It's just so beautiful. We don't yes. take care of this house, but Melanie's, your house is just beautiful. We do all kinds of trimming, and uh, that's one of our main tools going to be this year, Jim. We're running out of time. Here is my yard from Satellite. Go ahead. Here is my yard now. Last year I invested like 50000 in concrete and pavement and I've completely transformed my yard. You want to have a party? Let's have a party down in my yard. It would be super fun. Clients, employees, community, right? I'm all about our community. This is a sponsorship for the uh, sports. Uh, community Park will zip right through these, Jim. Employees, you better go have fun with your employees or you're not going to have employees to support your back. This is a key part of what I do is having a good time with my employees, okay? Me and I, that's Jimmy, Nick, Mark, we all went for a motorcycle ride. That includes my fun, throttle, throttle therapy, right there it is. Um, I've always talked about the first year they sleep the second year they creep, and the third year they leap, right? <laughs> this is a project we did four years. It's been alive for four years, and you can see how lush our growth is. That's from having the right soils, that's from having the right irrigation, and that's choosing the right plants for the scene that the plants are in, right? We do staging for you. If uh, you have a little house you wanna sell, something like that, you wanna have a party, we will stage. 
And back to me, I really, really like to have fun on my snowmobile this year. This is my new sled that I just got. Thank you for a great winter here in Tau Truckee. And uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you.